And you can simply remember the simple fact that God cannot die in the Bible. God has immortality innately, 1 Timothy 6.16. Jesus died. So one of our former Unitarian friends, John Biddle, who was a schoolmaster, and he began studying the Bible and came up with the sort of truth that he was a Unitarian, and England was so angry with him, they passed a law of Parliament against him to condemn him, put him in prison, came out of prison for a while, but went back to prison again and was eventually killed in prison with the rats running over him. And he simply made an easy point. So this is for the children now, particularly anybody listening. Jesus died. God cannot die. Therefore, Jesus cannot be God. That should be absolutely clear. I repeat yes. that. God cannot die. He's immortal. You cannot kill him. He cannot die. However, Jesus, you believe, died for your sins. So if you say Jesus is God, you're denying, in fact, that he died for your sins. You've actually wiped out Christianity. So a very simple point. God cannot die. Jesus died. Therefore, Jesus cannot be God. That's what John Biddle said. Unfortunately, it cost him his life because he was not living in the present time where we have this freedom to say what we believe, our convictions, so we can say it happily and not have the police arrive at our house to kill us for saying such things. Mm -hmm.